Hello and thank you for contacting Wave Support. I see from your clinical request you have a patient who's post LASIK with corneal ectasia and you're struggling a little bit with comfort, although it sounds like you made pretty good progress with your current design as compared to the patient's previous lenses. From my, uh, my understanding is you're looking to uh, find out if you can improve the comfort later in the day. Well, if we look at the designs for a moment, the first thing I notice is uh, uh, these lenses are kind of a reverse geometry design, um, as you probably know. In fact, uh, if you fit many ortho-K lenses, this looks pretty much like an ortho-K design on this cornea, uh, which, uh, which sounds like it's worked pretty well and so far at this point. However, where you're probably running into a little diff difficulty is you've got a pretty small landing zone here relative to the entire uh, lens fit. And so you're probably putting a lot of extra demand in this area of the cornea, this outer area, to maintain comfort. If you're losing comfort later in the day, you're probably running into some tear exchange issues from this uh, landing zone, maybe being a little on the snug side. Your comments about the fluorescein probably are related more toward this uh, area of steepening it through here and this kind of reverse geometry design on this basically keratoconus type uh, looking cornea. So if we look at the designs here, if we look at this uh, bottom right hand corner of the um, wave software, that of course is your um, simulated corneal topography that wave interprets. The bottom left is the back surface of the contact lens. So if you notice there's quite a bit of variation between the two. Uh, and if we uh, click on that uh, lower meridian in that lower left corner, you'll see this back surface of the lens has quite a bit of uh, curvature change in through that red and the blue dot before it hits that landing zone. So, uh, you know, if you're pretty happy with these designs and they're physiologically they're uh, stable on the eye, then what you can simply do is work on trying to improve maybe the comfort in this landing area. And a couple ways to do that, one is to sir simply try to get a little bit more tear exchange in here, maybe more of a tear pump, uh, maybe going that vertical meridian, uh, vertical and meridian the superior and inferior. Uh, I'd probably uh, click up and increase that edge lift a little bit to more, get a little tear pump in through there. Maybe even click up on the blue a little bit to get a little more tear flow. So that might be a simple way to try to take this lens and just tweak it a little bit to see if you can get a little bit better comfort later in the day. Also, if you recall, when you fit an axial, axial tends to approximate the central part of the cornea, but quite often it, it leaves this outer area a little snugger because it doesn't look as precisely at this, uh, this outer data. So sometimes switching over to tangential mode will give you a little bit uh, more alignment in this outer area. The lens tends to flatten up a hint when you do that, but you tend to get a little bit, I think, a little truer representation of the topography out in between the blue and uh, red ball allowing that lens to lie down more carefully. Uh, another thought, and you may want to even try this, <coughs> is really trying to work on getting this back uh, surface of the lens to really match that topography. And the best way to do that uh, is to really go back to more of a custom design of this lens where you take your, I, may, I mocked up a little one for us here. Uh, and this particular one, I set the uh, red dot at about right around four or so and just uh, set the other one about a little over five, uh, kept the larger diameter, went down and just hit current settings. And you'll see when we do that, we actually get a lens now, if we look at the back surface of that contact lens, it very closely mimics the front surface of the uh, topography. And if you look back now at the uh, back surface of the lens, you get a little bit more even smoother transition of the curve through here. That'll probably even out your fluorescein pattern a little bit. And if you really look at uh, how that lens lies down, you'll see a pretty close approximation to the cornea all the way throughout from the center part of the lens all the way out to the periphery and all the meridians. It pretty closely mimics that, so it's going to more evenly distribute the weight of that lens, as you know, as opposed to your current design where you have a little bit more concentrated area of landing here. Uh, either, either approach can work. Uh, Again, you have a little harsher, a little bit more uh, uh, contact area, a little more uh, pressure probably in your design because of the smaller landing zone. In this other design, you spread it out a little bit more. Each, each one of them can work, uh, but I think that's probably what I would recommend. The same thing on left eye holds true. I just uh, kind of looking at your design here. Again, it's, uh, it actually looks pretty nice. Again, it's a reverse geometry design where you've got a pretty uh, small landing area out here relatively to the core hole lens. 
and you probably are getting a little seal off later in the day. Uh, and if you ask some of these uh, patients who ever wear like an ortho K lens that looks very similar to that uh, reverse geometry lens, they can actually wear it for most of the day, but later in the day they'll run into some of those same symptoms. Uh, just because with a little lens movement uh, and translation, you get a little bit of extra rubbing in here because this is a pretty compact area here. So I usually try to even out this little back surface landing area. And again, uh, I didn't mark one up here, but uh, if we look back at that right lens, uh, you can see how that, that helps out. Another you thing you can do uh, to work on loosening or flattening that a little bit, you can always use this little aspheric tool down here if you want. And if you remember, if you click on that, just add a little asphericity, that's even going to make that um, lens look probably even more like your topography. So now you have almost a perfect match on that back surface of the lens. So those are a couple things you might want to try to see if you can uh, improve your comfort. It sounds like you've done a great job up to this point, so I uh, wish you well with this uh, case. Thank you for contacting New Wave Support, and have a great day.